the same professors that stayed eight months at home with their students on a strike. The same professors are helping the Independent National Electoral Commission to rig elections. You see, a lot of Nigerians need brain research. When they arrest a thief and he tells you, let us go to court, invariably, maybe his brother is the judge. But we are not bothered. Our president has been a strong beneficiary of the judicial system. He has ever had faith in the judiciary. The issue is that politicians have refused to do the right thing going forward. They are now shifted to the judiciary and want to place the judiciary in what we call in law as fait accompli. Because any decision taken by the judiciary that does not correspond with maybe the expression of justice in this matter, let me not put it as the expression of Nigerians, but the expression of justice in this matter, that revolution people are asking of might even start from the judiciary. And this is the politician that shifted the thing to the judiciary. And the hammer the politicians could have received would not descend on the judiciary, who are innocent of the whole setup. Because the judiciary will decide the matter on the basis of first place before them. Nothing more than this. So when you place first before the judiciary, they will decide matters based on that. And if they decide something that does correspond with justice or with expectations, the public reaction, the one we now call public opinion, will weigh strongly against the judiciary. And if it was against the judiciary, they will not take the brunt or the blame of the mess politicians have instituted. So that is where I'm going. But I too pray that the judiciary will live up to its bidding. Because Nigeria is now hanging on the tenterhook, and it is the judiciary that can only save it. A lot of youths are hot-tempered. A lot of them were seen on camera breaking their voters' card, PVCs. It should not be. A young man in Plateau went and hanged himself, a 19-year-old boy. That is the most pathetic of this travesty carried out by Yakub Mahmoud, the INEC chairman. That's one of the greatest travesty. Because it, it may be people who died in the course of working for INEC or were shot by thugs. Some people might say, oh, this is a very sad incident, people dying in the course of battle. But for a young man who had all the expectations in the world that this election will change his life for the better, only to be met with a result that he never, in fact, in his life envisaged. He had no counseling. That is why I look at it. Because if he had confided in anybody, nobody would have told that young man to go and commit suicide. If he now he has committed suicide, what about if P2B is returned, as I know the court will return him? If he is eventually returned, Will his dead body now enjoy the benefits of the democracy which he longed for? So please, I want to advise the youths. Take it easy. It doesn't end today. Peter, like he told us yesterday, that this is but the beginning. You see, you don't expect a Messiah coming to any generation to go without bruises. These ones that Peter is taking now, the 